is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and in today's episode what i'd like to talk about is what it's like to really ride a bike all the time as your pri whoa some kind of runoff as your primary source of transportation now these are not going to be like uh enlightened ideas or anything like that these are just my personal opinions because of my real experience with that so i'm gonna just try and give you a very honest uh opinion about uh having a motorcycle as your primary source of transportation now up front obviously it's going to be uh relatively cheaper quotation marks cheaper but you're still going to have uh expenditures and things like that that we're going to talk about but one of the big things is you are going to be riding sometimes when you honestly just don't want to ride um it all kind of depends on what your job is i'm a meat cutter so i can kind of take clothes on and off whenever i get to work it's very easy for me to change and all that but it's still something to definitely be aware about especially if that is your situation and with that comes all kinds of different riding conditions see i live in southwest pa so we are very prone to heavy fog and heavy fog is fun but it's definitely something that's a little sketchy if you're not used to riding and you know just weather in general you're obviously going to be riding in super cold conditions depending on where you live and also super wet and rainy conditions uh, again depending on where you live uh, Pennsylvania is very diverse for the most part I we kind of get a little bit of everything um, so that being said make sure if this is something you're trying to do that you are willing to put in the work into riding in all of these conditions because each one of them is different and require a little bit difference uh, in your inputs and things like that I'm, I'm going to make a video uh, relatively soon about why you should ride your motorcycle in the rain I am a firm believer in it because it forces you to be a better rider because it forces you to be very um, dialed in and uh, smooth with all your controls your clutches your clutch your brake uh, just how you operate your bike it um, <clears throat> excuse me it, it really forces you to, to narrow that down and you take that to the dry road right and it just makes you a better rider anyways what I'm getting at is if you do want to ride a bike as your only source of transportation you have to make sure that you are comfortable with riding in these conditions and even adapting your motorcycle to these conditions I run Battleaxe T32s is a very good touring and rain tire and I specifically use this tire because it's a rain tire because I ride year round and because it's it's so important to have good rain tires if you're going to be riding in the rain I mean yeah you could probably run in you know a sports tire but it's it doesn't give me that confidence I do as with this so what I'm getting at is you might have to cater your bike in ways that you don't necessarily want to because oh maybe it doesn't look cool or you don't have the the Diablos on your on your bike to do those crazy obnoxious leans it's not obnoxious I do it all the time but you might have to make some sacrifices because that tire probably wouldn't be the best for uh, the rain and raining conditions and all that but you, you definitely you definitely have to consider that and the other thing to to really consider is just the general feeling of not wanting to ride because uh, I'll be honest I kind of got a double whammy uh, I was sick and I had allergies and I was very very oh no I didn't want to go shoot I didn't want to go this way I wanted to go 
the other way to show you a different view. Uh, you know what? No, never mind. We're just we're just gonna do this. Uh, that uh, that that aggravates the hell out of me. Uh, I'm trying to show you guys different views and. Anyways, uh, I'm starting to get hot. That's screw it. Uh, anyways, what was I talking about? Uh, just riding whenever you're you're really not feeling like it. Uh, again, I was feeling super sick, and it made it absolutely miserable going to work. Uh, and I think honestly, it even made my sickness last longer because of that. Because just breathing in all this really cold air and all that stuff, I think it really prolonged uh, whatever I had, uh, some crazy chest infection or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, you're, you're gonna be riding when you just don't feel well and just don't feel like it. We're about to get in the summer and I absolutely hate it this summer. That is my least favorite time to ride a bike. I absolutely dread it. Not looking forward to it. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to be uh, setting up my bike for DoorDash. Like, so really got to figure out gear as far as like cool, cooler uh, temperatures because, you know, again, riding in the heat is not fun. And me working in the AC unit and then going out into that, wearing all the gear, is not a lot of fun and a lot of times in the summer especially last summer i just wanted to be in a car because it is absolutely miserable sometimes when that sun is beating down on you and the concrete's hot and then the bike's putting out heat and you got all your gear on it's it's such a miserable time but I, I'm getting sidetracked, but that is uh, that is definitely something to be aware of is, you know, there's going to be days when you're going to be sick. There's going to be days when you're not feeling well. There's going to be days when you pulled your ankle or you hurt yourself at work or you did something that will uh, prevent you from operating your machine as efficiently and effectively as you can. So really keep that in the back of your mind if that's... Uh, you know something that you you never really thought of or anything uh the, the next thing and i kind of briefly touched on it is is your uh, your cost like i know a lot of people say oh motorcycles are cheap it's a lot cheaper uh it is and it isn't uh when you ride more your service intervals go up and you have to get work done a lot more uh quickly than uh, if you are just casually riding a bike so with all the extra miles, it's a lot of extra service. And if you don't do your own service, which some things I cannot do, uh, it's expensive. Uh, it's really expensive. Uh, they want $500 for front brakes and uh, stuff like that, which I think I can do that myself. They also want another 500 for the spark plugs and air filter to replace that. That I would love to do myself, but I don't think that I can because uh, I, I'm just not confident in my mechanical skills of taking off the gas tank and all that stuff. So, you know, just, just keep in mind maintenance, just general maintenance on your bike. Tires are expensive. You're gonna run through tires a lot faster if this is your only source of transportation and you're, you're using the hell out of your bike, which that's what it's for, but just, be aware that maintenance is going to go up. Uh, again, your service intervals are going to go up. I had this bike a little over a year and got 14,000 miles on it. So I'm about ready to be on my third pair of shoes. And uh, yeah, it's just getting expensive, man. But I don't know. It's, I, I kind of wanted to give, uh, I kind of wanted to say all this stuff because, you know, I know sometimes youtube can portray things in a different light that's not necessarily true like whenever i first started out i was watching a bunch of videos on how to um how to uh tour and just touring videos and you see all these beautiful canyons and all these beautiful roads and these sunsets and all this beautiful stuff but you don't really think of the hours and hours of just driving straight <laughs> to get to that destination um 
you know that certainly happened to me i mean i've seen some really nice things i went to um gettysburg i've seen some really pretty roads out on gettysburg some really pretty roads out on route 30 going that way um uh washington dc was really nice lake erie was really nice and but while all that looked really nice and wonderful it was a lot of driving that you didn't see you know because youtube sometimes again will paint a picture that's not actually correct even this even this that you're watching right now isn't entirely true because i'm not actually sitting on my bike talking to you guys i am sitting in my chair watching this video going over it because uh, i wasn't talking because i was sick or whatever but that's all i really wanted to say guys um i hope that you enjoyed the video i hope that it worked out well for you uh if you learned something if you like the editing if you liked anything uh please let me know by submitting a comment don't forget to like share and subscribe and of course i will see you guys in the next one